what we have uh, focused on uh, is looking at the area of social change leadership. Uh, three years ago when I took over, I was very concerned about how the MBA students or the PGP students were mostly focusing, if you will, on how much money they were going to make at the end of two years, which by itself I think is perfectly fine. But I wanted them to be equally concerned about what I call the triple bottom line, which is the people and planet along with the profit. But to put that into action, uh, three years ago our faculty and the board said our work in social change, which we had been doing a long, a long time with UNICEF and the government of Gujarat and other places, should be translated into a specialization that the students can actually do, if that's the wish. Because what we found is, outwardly, while the students talk about as if profit's the only area of focus, there were quite a few students who were very socially conscious, wanted to do it, but I had no idea how to do it. We also realized that no other management institute in India was doing. Of course, we have TIS and others who do it from a slightly different perspective. So we've created this specialization, but along with it, to give it momentum, we have created a center for excellence focusing on social change. So the center is called Center for Social Change Leadership. I talk about it saying that in the digital space, you can go from the hardware, and from the hardware, you can look at data and market research and analytics, then the insights that come out of it, and then the solutions. What I find is that you have expertise in the left-brained market research, data analytics place. We have expertise in the right brain creative space. Nobody is doing the whole spectrum. So our specialization really is to say, can we create expertise who can do the whole thing? Because we still have 70% of our students or engineers coming in. So as we look forward, I think with the need increasing, so as you know, whether it's the banking sector, automotive sector, health, education, you name it, the notion of digital and its use and especially strategic communication, I think is going to play a greater role. And then talking about skill, and of course I always joke about this, which is that you know we talk about it as a soft skill, but I think it's one of the hardest things to do in life, whether it's professionally or personally. Digital space alone now we've got about 15 different new classes that have been floated uh, and that cuts across the spectrum that I was talking about right now right and every year of course we almost say that 20% of our classes need to go out and then you need 20% in if you will and where we are finding that especially is that the in the marketing and brand management area a lot of our students go up into the FMCG but are realizing, of course, that branding is a bigger role across multiple sectors. So we have a lot of new expertise, but one area we're seeing at least attraction with interest is in sports management. So we are finding that we have more visiting faculty and interest in that area to say what can be done in the specific area and building classes. The other one, we're a little late to the game maybe, but is an in incubation and entrepreneurship. Uh, you know, the IMs and others have been doing this for a long time. I would say in the last two years, we've really built that area in terms of the number of incubates we have and also the number of classes we have in a way to create, you know, kind of startups and go through the process that other students are doing from before.